I come back to Nova Scotia. I have a month or so to get ready. And then during that month is doing the thing at Expo and then continuing on down. And uh, it was uh, an incredible time uh, for on many levels because you have to understand we're right in the middle of uh, the anti-Vietnam <laughs> thing. Mm -hmm. And so naturally I'm going to have to take part in kind of that, mm -hmm. uh, even though I know that I'm not, I'm not on my home turf right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there were the big marches and I'd go down there, you know, and saw all the business of people getting stamped on by horses. And da -da -da. But on the other side, the lead folks in the theater, in the theater, were Greek expatriates because they'd all been kicked out of the country. Hmm. When, there's a, when there was the coup. Mm -hmm. So at the theater, the theater director was Michael Kokianis. Mm. Uh, you know, he had just done, uh, he was doing Shoes of the Fisherman, he had just done Zorba the Greek, da 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 da. Who was in his acting company? Irene Pappas, mm. who played Clytemnester, who had been. <laughs> These are the people uh, who are there. Nikos Sakharopoulos, uh, uh, Milton Katselis. Long before Milton directed uh, Butterflies Are Free and all that, Milton was teaching mm. at the school. Uh, this is the people I was with. So the first production that I see there, the only other production that had really made a great impact on me was the Caucasian Chalk Circle, which I saw in 1961 by the Canadian players. It was an astounding piece of work. Deborah Cass was in it, an actor called Deborah Cass. And I remember sitting down and writing the very first fan letter I ever wrote, mm -hmm. and the only one I've ever written, mm -hmm. and it was to Deborah Cass. So, that was in 1961. We're now in 1967. And I'm sitting there. There's going to be a production. Evelyn had told me about the previous production, which Kakianis and Papas and them had done, which was Trojan Women. And that's why she hooked into them. Now I'm going to see Iphigenia and Olus. So I'm sitting there. Uh, I did know that the chorus in the group were made up of uh, extremely talented dancer actors, many taken from the ballets around New York City ballet, da 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 and he choreographed them for his chorus. It was sublime. And I know that Papas is going to play Clytemnestra. I'm sitting there watching this magnificent tableau scene happen in front of me, and I am by the bomb, sitting by the bomb, and I'm watching like this, as everybody else is, and all of a sudden, it was as if somebody with 10-inch nails just went to a blackboard and went, and that thing goes up your back, mm -hmm. so strong that it snapped me. Mm -hmm. And when I go like this and I turn and standing right here with her face right here is Papas. And I turn and I looked at her and all I can remember are eyes this large, like looking into infinity. Mm -hmm. And she moves towards the stage. It's the most mind blowing thing that ever happened to me. And it is what I saw on that stage. It became 
my benchmark for any theater that I ever saw. It, I can graduate it here, 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 but in terms of what it did to me, that, when that can happen, and the closer you can bring me to that happening is how I judge what I'm looking at on the stage.